Hello there, teacher David again. Uh, today, or at this time, I want to give you the secret, the secret to passing the sciences. Uh, how to pass chemistry and any other science? Paper 3 is your savior. Paper 3 is the secret weapon you have. Is the secret weapon remaining in your hands as you know very well that we have three papers in both sciences biology chemistry and uh, physics so we have three sciences that is not new to you so paper one is out of 80 in both sciences paper two is out of 80 in both sciences and the paper three is out of 40 in the three sciences so we want to see how Paper 3 is your savior, is your remaining weapon. When you don't have you don't have content in paper 1, you don't have content in paper 2, paper 3 will save you. How? So let us see. This is the reason why paper 3 is going to be your savior. Why? Paper 3 is never calculated into percentage. In paper 3, if you get 3, in paper three and you score paper one zero paper one zero and paper two zero then you are going to get three percent so paper three is just given the way it is so paper three is never calculated into a percentage it is always given as a percentage so if you get 40 out of 40 in paper three if you get 40 out of 40 then you have already have 40 marks 40 percent without paper one without paper two you already have 40 percent so we want to consider the following four students and see how paper three how important paper three is so let us consider these three students four students i have four students here i have four students student x is very weak in paper one he scores or she scores 20 out of 80. in paper two the student scores 15 out of 80. Paper 3, she crams the qualitative analysis, she crams everything, the observations. She only comes to the lab to make observations and write the answers. She scores 32 out of 40. Right? So how do we calculate? We, this is how we calculate the, in the chemistry. Cal chemistry is calculated like this. Paper 1 plus paper 2 divided by 160. 160 is the total of 80 plus 80. And then you multiply that by 60. So you bring this out to, to 60 and then you add directly paper 3, which is out of 40. So this student scores 20. 20 plus 15 is 35 divided by 160. You use your calculator and you will confirm times 60 and then you add directly the 32 percent of of paper three this is students despite the fact that is very weak in paper one very weak in paper two she managed or he manages to score 45 percent which will never be something which will never be less than a c plus 45 percent is likely to be a c plus and above you see let us go to student who um, why Student Y never, never, never took time to read any chemistry. The only chemistry the student Y has is the chemistry he or she used to hear, just hear from a distance as the teacher was teaching in the class. Now in paper one, the student scores nine, which anybody, even a grandmother who has not gone to school, will come to class, sit and get nine. That's my opinion. So this student gets nine out of eight. In paper two, the students get 10 out of 8. But these students decide to cram their inferences and to master some concepts in paper three. And then the students manages to score 27 out of 40 in paper three. The students end up getting 34%, which will never be a D, which will be something, even a C, a C plane or a C something. This 34%, you can see there. 
So you know, you see, that's why chemistry paper three is very crucial in in your general science grade. All right, paper three is very important. So let us check a, a student who is very good in paper one and paper two, and then the student fails paper three. Let us look at student Z. Student Z has content. Paper one, the student scores 64 out of 80. Paper two, the student scores 64, oh sorry, 62 out of 80. And then paper three, she, he or he, he, she, he or she fails terribly and scores 10 out of 40, right? Now, say, check. You would have given you the formula now to do this. It is paper 1 plus paper 2 divided by 160 times 60 and then plus paper 3. So, let 64 plus 62 divided by 1 this and then times this plus 10 gives you 57 percent. You see? 57, imagine. Having scored 64, having scored 62 out of 8, the practical pulls the students down to 57 percent. Let us see an average student. I want you to compare student Z and student P. Now let us compare student Z and student P. Student P is not good in paper 1. is not good in paper 2 either. But the student tries very much in paper 3 to score 30 out of 40. So you see, the student ends up getting 48%. And the student who is very good in the paper 1 and the paper 2 theory scores 57. How many marks re they have uh, left? This one has left this one with 10 marks. You can see that. That's how important pe paper 3 is. Whether it is physics, biology, uh, chemistry or whatever it is. Therefore, it is important you consider practical very important. And try as much as you can to ensure that practical you you put your energy you do what you can do so that you can upgrade your grade so i want in description below i'm going to leave the links for paper three practicals that i have done so make sure you go through this practical specifically the one i'm going to put in the description link link so that you can um, you can ensure that in paper three you know everything before you enter that room for practical so please check the link in the description and if you have not looked seen those practicals go through them the 20 2012 2017 2014 practicals they are there go through them and make sure you upgrade your paper one and the paper two using paper three thank you very much Hello friends, uh, I'm very grateful, I'm very grateful for the way you are supporting the channel, uh, your subscription, you are doing a good job and I want to thank you very much. But as you have been seeing is that um, our videos are very, of a very poor quality, actually it is because we are using a phone. And uh, I was thinking of buying a good camera and, and as I was thinking on where to get the money from, the friends, and then I thought I have friends who like viewing my videos. So, and I thought that uh, as I was thinking about how to raise the money to buy a good camera, I realized that I have few friends who like my channel and they can do something. So if you are willing and you think that uh, I'm doing a great job in, uh, in what you are doing there, 
Therefore, I'm requesting that you can contribute something small that you have so that uh, we can buy a camera so that we can produce good quality videos uh, that will help even uh, the generations to come. Therefore, I don't want to talk much. I want to thank you kindly. My phone number is there in the subscription. Oh, sorry, in the description. So you can give what you have willingly. You know, some, no one can force you to do anything, but you can do it willingly. And then we will be able to buy a camera. As an individual, it is not going to be easy. But if you are 20, you are 50 shillings, you are 100 shillings, if we have 100 people contributing, we are going to buy a camera. And so you see, as an individual, it is not easy. As you know, the economy now it is very, very terrible. Therefore, kindly, uh, my phone number is 0726. 46 Send your contribution and uh, we will buy a camera and we will continue to educate uh, our people. Thank you very much. As your purpose to contribute.